Oh, that makes it look much creepier, doesn't it? Good evening. Um, this is a fun little find that I have here. I'm going to shut off the flash. Yeah, much better. Um, fun little find that I have here. It's a, let's see if we can get in there. A Grass Instruments S5 stimulator, which, given that I found it in an old men's mental institution in the basement in the dumpster, um, and the fact that it is also called a stimulus um, device in some documentations, it's pretty clear it's an ECT, electroshock therapy machine. Um, uh, which, of course, meant I had to plug it in and test it out. Uh, my wife told me that I'm not allowed to test out electroshock devices on my kids anymore. So... Yeah. Works great. Uh, this pot is a little flaky. But it's got three pots here. Voltage. Gain. duration of the pulse. So it's got a frequency of the pulse. It goes from uh, 60, uh, 600 millihertz. Or no, sorry, it's from 100 millihertz to 20, uh, yeah, uh, 200 millihertz. And then you can set the duration so basically, you know, you're changing the duty cycle of the thing. It's about 50 or 60 years old, I think. Uh, it's 100% tube based. It's amazing, actually. It's a lot of fun to play with. Here. A little play with it. I really love it. It's uh, fantastic when the pot doesn't work quite right, and you get that really throaty... It has sync out and sync in, but none of the voltages I tried work properly, unfortunately. Um, it's also got a mod in. I'd have to find out what the what the input voltages are. It outputs pulses, and then you can change the, the duration of the pulse. Basically, you know, you can go all the way from very short millisecond pulses to, you know, above, uh, almost, almost a hundred percent duty cycle. Um, I think it was, I was going to say above 75%, but actually, I think about it, I think I got as high as 90. Uh, so here's the back.
would be the uh, this would be the, the sound your brain made as they were zapping you with it. Get some great stuff there. runs for a little bit. It, it really does seem to... I'm mean, looking for a modulation source of some sort, but... 